Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. My name is Derek from Simnet Nutrition and today I'm gonna to be showing you everything that I eat in a day. So I'm gonna go over breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm gonna show you the recipes and then at the end of each meal, I'm gonna go over the macros and the micros in chronometer and show you all the nutrients that we're getting from that meal. So for those of you that have been subscribed for a while, you know that I like to get moving early in the day and try and get outside and just do something fun. So uh, this investment of the trampoline has just been amazing. Uh, and here Crystal and I are just jumping around on it, um, playing, trying to play keep ups. We've actually never done this before, but it turned out to be a pretty good workout and pretty fun and really challenging. Uh, but uh, yeah, so the idea with these videos is to, you know, give you guys some ideas on different plant-based meals that you can eat, show that we can get all the nutrition that we need from it, aside from B12, which we need to supplement and then also to inspire you and motivate you to maybe you know get outside more move your body a bit more and have a little bit more fun in life and just take things a little less seriously and just maybe play a bit more so um you know if i do that at any point during this video definitely hit the like button because i put a lot of effort into these videos uh, i do love making them but uh you know sometimes they don't get seen as much as i'd like but if i were to you know sit in a ball of slime for 24 hours let me tell you i'd get two million views so here we are at the gym uh today's gonna be a pull day and I uh, just warmed up a little bit, a lot more than I showed on camera. I really like to warm up my wrists and shoulders, especially for this movement here, which are ring muscle ups, one of my favorite movements. They are so, so difficult. Uh, so if you're not here yet, do not worry. It takes a lot of time and effort to build up to these. I've really been loving this challenge lately. This is like a wide cannonball grip pull up, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's really hard on the grip and the forearm and makes you have really good form as well. But uh, really tough if you don't have chalk or if your hands are sweaty. Some curls for the girls. <laughs> so I split my workouts up uh, to probably about 50-50 calisthenics and like weighted calisthenics to just like weights and typical bodybuilding stuff. But didn't show you guys the whole workout obviously, I just wanted to show you guys that I do lift. <laughs> Alright, enough of that. On to the food. So here is uh, my typical post-workout smoothie bowl. So if you guys that follow along closely enough, you'll know this one pretty well already. But uh, yeah, so I've got a couple frozen bananas there and then a couple medjool dates and some frozen berries. It's probably about a cup and a half right there. And then I always try and incorporate some greens into my smoothies or smoothie bowls. So this is a whole bunch of kale. It's probably about a cup and a half or two cups there. And then we've got some flax seed, some ground flax, about a tablespoon of ground flax there. This is a great source of the omega-3 fatty acids, which are the ones that we really need to be concerned about and think about taking in. And hemp seeds are also a really good source of that. They're also a really good source of protein as well. So I'm gonna throw some of those in there too. So a tablespoon of each. The next ingredient is some fresh turmeric and black pepper. So the reason I use this is because turmeric is a really powerful anti-inflammatory. However, our body produces some enzymes that actually break down the anti-inflammatory components and uh, excrete them. So what the black pepper does is inhibit those enzymes from working. The turmeric, uh, the, the active ingredients can circulate in our body for longer and um, do more work. <laughs> so uh, the next thing is some plant-based protein powder. Obviously not necessary, you can get all the, the protein that you need from plant foods, but I like to do this to help bump up my protein count uh, without having to you know, have a whole bunch more food in my belly. So I'm using this Vivo Life raw plant-based protein. And this is a great tasting one. This is my absolute favorite. It's unbelievable. Salted maca caramel. It's so good. Really easy on the digestion. Um, I won't go on and on about it. You guys can uh, read about it if you want. It's in the description down below. I'm an affiliate with these guys. I, I certainly back what they do. Love the, love the company. Love the products. Derek, time for 10% off. So here we go. Let's make this smoothie. So the reason why I really like to have um, smoothies, smoothie bowls, and just fruit in general after my workouts is because I find it helps me to recover best. I know a lot of people just think about protein after workouts and they think this is what I need in order to repair my muscles, but we also have to replace the energy from our body and our body's preferred energy source is carbohydrates and uh, especially from healthy plant sources like this. Body just soaks it up along with all the nutrients that we're getting from this, add a little bit of protein to it and uh, you have yourself a pretty good meal. So I rarely, rarely get sore after my workouts and I go pretty dang hard as you guys saw there. So here I am just making it look a little bit prettier <laughs> for the thumbnail. Uh, no, I also like some stuff on there that I can chew, but uh, it's a little bit brown looking. That happens when you put a lot of greens in. That's the price you pay for health. So I've got some cut up strawberries and some granola on there as well. And I like to keep the greens on the strawberries when I have it in the smoothie bowl because I don't really notice and uh, there's a lot of nutrition left in those. So why not leave them on there? So while I dig into this, let's have a look and see what kind of nutrition this meal is giving me. So before I do that, I think it's important to mention my size and weight and all that stuff, just to put into context how much I'm eating. I think it's an important factor when talking about you know, caloric intake and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna use this website, Plant Space, 
vegansweb.org. It's actually Mike, the vegans website, and uh, it's a really nice, clean website, easy to use, really easy to use this caloric calculator. So definitely check it out. So uh, I always feel like I have to preface this by saying I'm not a very big guy because everyone's always surprised when they see my size. But yeah, 147 pounds, five foot six. I'm 35 years old. And uh, you can see here my basal metabolic rate is 1,545 calories. That's if I just don't do anything at all, lay in bed all day. Um, but if you add some light exercise in there, it goes up to 2,100 calories. And then some moderate activity goes up to 2,400 calories. And I would assume that's probably where I'm at, maybe somewhere between this and hard daily activity, and uh, which case I need about 2,600 calories for maintenance. So I just definitely get somewhere around there. Uh, and if I don't get it on a certain day, I will get it, uh, you know, the next day kind of thing. So yeah, there's everything in the amounts. I already closed the keto ad there. <laughs> so 63% carbs, 18% fat, 19% protein. And you can see, yeah, we've already got close to some of our daily RDIs just with this one meal. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, take what you want from this, have a look. Uh, looks pretty good if you ask me. 40 grams of protein in that. Uh, you know, it would have been about 20 without the protein powder, but still, you could add some more hemp seeds and got that bumped up. So we'll go over it in more detail at the very end, but uh, that was just a quick sneak peek on that one. You guys can pause it and go back and look if you want. So here is lunch. This is what I'm going to have. I'm going to make a bean burrito. No surprise there. So there I've got a can of black beans. It's actually just under a can. And then I've got some yam, some sweet potatoes from the previous night that were baked. And then just some vegetables and uh, fruit, I guess, with the tomato and pepper, but both fruit, fruit going in there. What the heck? Why is this so confusing? And why do I feel like I have to correct it? And then I've just got some spices as well. We've got onion powder, garlic, chili, and paprika. And then I've got a whole wheat tortilla there too. That's all going in. A little bit of cilantro for flavor. Coriander, if you're in the UK, it's not how they talk, but it's my best effort. Nice ripe avocado for some healthy fats. Bump up the calories as well and uh, some green onion and a bit of salsa for flavor. Salsa is a really great condiment. It's generally pretty low in you know, additives and uh, it's really tasty, it goes a long way. So just chopping everything up and then I'm just gonna fire everything into the saucepan and saute it for a little while just to get you know, everything nice and cooked, <laughs> I guess, and uh, get some flavor in there too. So we've got some spices going in. Got a smoked paprika, I think it's chili spice, garlic powder, onion powder, and then some salsa as well. Salsa is good to throw into stuff as you cook it. I never really thought about it until a couple years ago and started doing it. And man, you know, they put a lot of flavor in those salsas, so it uh, definitely comes out when you cook with it. And now it's just time to build the burrito. So this is actually one of the example meals that I give to people when they're like, I just wouldn't know what to eat on a vegan diet. I always say, hey, like picture a nice big like steak or chicken burrito that you would make and just take the chicken out of it, take the cheese out of it, it's all you've got to do. And then often you kind of see a light bulb go on, they're like, oh yeah, I can do that. And then, yeah, just add some more beans, add a little bit more of this and that, and all of a sudden you got the people eating a good old burrito for dinner. Hopefully like you guys are going to. Definitely tag me on Instagram if you guys make these meals, at Simnet Nutrition. So uh, a little bit extra salsa, actually really good on the salad as well. And uh, that's the finished meal there. <laughs> the little toothpicks were bugging me, so I tried to cover them up with some pea shoots there, but that didn't work. All right, time to dig in. Let's see how this thing is. It's like as big as my forearm, <laughs> which is not that big. Yeah, so really, really tasty. It's amazing. The um, smoky taste from the smoked paprika is really good in here and definitely like gives you that sort of meaty barbecue taste that uh, maybe some people would miss in it, but it's just really good anyways. Make sure you get some greens in there each and every meal. Try and eat your greens. All right, so let's see what the heck kind of nutrients we got from this. All right, so this meal was 654 calories, and you can see the calories are coming from carbohydrates, so let's close that freaking keto ad again. All right, so we got 67% carbs, 20% fat, 13% protein, and uh, wow, we got 100% of our iron in this one meal. It's pretty crazy. A lot of people worry about iron on a vegan diet, not if you're eating burritos. And you can see you're getting almost 33 grams of fiber from this one meal alone, which is amazing. You know, fiber is the prebiotic food for our probiotics in our gut, helps things keep moving along smoothly. So you definitely want to have a good amount of that. Close those keto ads. We got lots of protein, 24 grams, and uh, yeah, lots of minerals and all that as well. You can pause it and go back and look if you want. So next meal we are having is just a really simple chickpea stir fry. So we're gonna start out with some canned chickpeas. Of course, you guys can make these all from scratch. I'm just trying to show you how easy it can be. So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible, quick as possible. We've got some frozen peas, some frozen corn, 
Don't shy away from frozen vegetables because, you know, they still have lots of nutrition in them and they can be really convenient. We've got some pepper, onion as well, some bok choy. Bok choy is a really great source of calcium. As you guys know who follow along closely, you'll know that bok choy is great. We've got lots of calcium, very bioavailable because it is very low in oxalates. And I've got a carrot there as well. Just gonna grate that up and throw it in just for some added flavor and some more color. And then we have the twin pillars to my cooking, onion powder and garlic powder. So if you guys actually suffer from gas and bloating, you might wanna avoid those two for a little while, see if it helps, cause it can cause that in some people, especially in higher amounts. So I'm gonna be making a tahini based dressing. I'll show you guys that in a minute, uh, but uh, let's keep moving on with the meal first, cause we will have some time to, to make that while everything's cooking. And then I've also got some pre-steamed beets. So these are really nice and convenient to have on hand, uh, cause beets can be kind of messy to cook, but you know, it is a bit of a luxury. They're a little bit pricey too. So here I'm just chopping everything up. It's always nice to prepare things before you start throwing it into the frying pan because then you don't have stuff burning and other stuff that's like not already chopped up yet. And I find if you chop stuff smaller as well, it's a little bit easier to eat. It cooks more evenly and quicker. Uh, and yeah, you don't have to chew it quite as much. So just a little tip. And then that all goes into the saucepan. So I'm only gonna stir fry it for a couple minutes. I mean, all this stuff just needs heating up. You can eat it raw, of course. And I like to saute with a little bit of water. I just find it, uh, you know, keeps the flavor of the food really nicely uh, and doesn't, you know, add a bunch of unneeded and nutrient-less calories like oil does. So here's everything that's going into the dressing. We've got tahini, tamari, oh, those two are confusing to say together, some spicy brown mustard. This is really good to put in dressings because it helps to emulsify fats and uh, like liquids, water and stuff. And then I have a multi-spice seasoning there. So it's nice to have on hand. So you can just kind of dump it into anything. It always tastes the same, but it is really tasty and flavorful. And then I'm gonna sweeten it with some maple syrup. Of course, if you wanted, you could use dates, uh, but then you would have to blend this dressing. Just trying to keep it easy for you guys. So I started with a tablesp uh, yeah, tablespoon of tahini, and then a teaspoon or so of tamari, a teaspoon of the mustard, a teaspoon of that seasoning, or maybe just a little bit less, and a teaspoon of maple syrup. So of course the maple syrup is optional and if you wanted to you could use dates if you wanted to blend this recipe up but I'm just trying to keep it as easy as possible for you guys. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of warm water to help everything kind of mix up and as the base of the salad dressing. And I always like to taste see where we're at and it's good but I felt it to be a little bit thin so I'm just gonna add some more tahini. You could add some ground flaxseed in there if you wanted and then stir it up and wait for it to thicken that way. So I always throw the frozen peas in last because I don't like them to cook too much and uh, it helps to kind of like stop the cooking of the rest of the food so that everything is kind of like nice and fresh and a good temperature when you throw it into the bowl. So this was a really easy and quick meal to make. I mean, it probably only took about 30 minutes and um, that was like including chopping everything up. So if you already had everything prepared, if you did a bit of food prep on Sunday or something like that, it could be even faster. But uh, it's a pretty dang good meal and I really like stir fries because you can make them taste so different and you can add so many like healthy things to them and uh, it's really just like easy to make one. You just think of like a grain you want or think of a legume or one of each and then just throw it all in there, put a bunch of other veggies in, find a good sauce, put some greens in there, there you have it. So let's look over the nutrients from that meal really quickly and then we'll spend a bit of time and go over the whole day. All right, so that is a 809 calorie bowl. 58% of those calories coming from carbs, 28 from fat, and 14% coming from protein. As we look down a little bit further, you can see, again, another nutrient-rich meal. We're over our RDI of, of iron in that one bowl and almost half of our recommended daily intake of calcium. And that's gonna be a lot in thanks to the bok choy. Scrolling down a little further, we can see another fiber-rich meal, uh, almost 33 grams again. Almost 30 grams of fat in this one, and a lot of them are gonna be omega-6s because of the tahini. So had I added a tablespoon of flaxseed in there, it might have bumped that up and been a little bit better of a ratio. So just some other nutrients of interest there. You can see where those are coming from. This is a really neat program. A lot of people ask, this is called Chronometer. So if you guys wanna check it out, it's free online or you can pay for the app. So this whole day was 2,250 calories, 62% coming from carbs, 22% coming from fat, and 15% coming from protein. So I'd say that's a pretty standard ratio for me. Sometimes it's a little bit lower in fat and higher in carbs than this, um, but you can see I was eating the foods in pretty normal amounts, so these are probably fairly average uh, quantities for me. I've also hit 
Uh, more than 100% of the RDIs in most of the fields here, but not in B12. So I didn't have any fortified food with B12 in it that day, and I didn't show that I took a supplement. So here I am firing it in there. Don't forget to take your B12, guys. So I ate a total of 363 grams of carbs that day. So that is just the nature of plant foods. You can see I was eating whole plant-based foods, and it is just a high carbohydrate diet. That's just how it is. People freak out, scared of carbs, but there's no reason why you should be. That is just what food is made up of. Uh, so you can see here, make a six to three ratio is pretty good. You wanna try and aim for at least a four to one ratio of six to three, and I'm um, getting pretty close there. Uh, you can see also lots of protein, almost 100 grams of protein, and I got uh, you know more than 100% of the RDI of all the essential amino acids, so I will have no problem making gains. And the B vitamins there, all well represented, over 100%. Just barely got B3 there, which I have had more of. Green peas, good source of B3. Looking down a little further, you can see vitamin D, very little there, uh, and that's probably coming from the almond milk. It doesn't show the amount that I absorbed from the sunshine that I got today. Vitamin E, this is a tough one to get for me sometimes because I just don't eat a ton of nuts and seeds. So, um, you know, almond milk's gonna have it in there, but uh, yeah, definitely need to eat more of those if I wanna get that number up. So you can see the minerals, lots and lots of minerals, except for iodine. So I did not have any iodized salt today or any sea vegetables. So I will have to remember to have twice as much tomorrow. So if you wanna hit your selenium intake, just have a Brazil nut, you'll be well over 100% there. And uh, that's it, you can see we've got a fairly, you know, pretty normal day of eating there. We've hit all of our RDIs and with lots of room to spare. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Definitely let me know what you thought in the comments down below. I thought a voiceover would be fun because I could add a little bit more detail to some of these meals and uh, go over the nutrients like this. So definitely hit the like button, subscribe if you wanna see more from me. Thank you everybody. Here's some other videos you can check out if you wanna see some more. Have a great day, go out there, have fun, and play. Peace.